Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Twee. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of my favourite apps. You guys know I love me a bit of editing. I love trying to find new ways to edit things. And I love watching videos like this, guys. I'm like, oh, I get to see behind the scenes, you know, how it all goes down. I've been asking loads of my fellow other bloggers what are their favourite apps to edit with. And I recently found some really, really cool apps. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about my favourite five maybe six a little extra bonus app in their phone and mix as well i wish there was just one app that just does everything but unfortunately that day is not here yet guys so if you guys want to see what my top favorite apps are please keep watching roll the intro mm. let me scoot along so grang insert the screen recording yeah. Okay, so my first favourite app is Facetune 2. I think in my last video I used to use Facetune 1, but I recently just discovered Facetune 2. For the longest time I really didn't want this app because I felt like it was such a scam that you had to pay for like the good stuff. You can download it for free, but it's quite like a limited version. If you want all of the little buttons that they have, you have to pay extra. So I did bite the bullet and I paid for the extra price. I think it was like £17 or something, which is really expensive for an app, I think, especially on your phone. Okay, so this is the photo that we're going to be editing today. It's a very, very proud one of a must say to myself. <laughs> You guys don't follow me on Instagram. You guys wouldn't know, but I actually won the Cosmopolitan Best Beauty Influencer Awards 2019. What? Me? Best Beauty Influencer? What the hell? Okay, so this is the photo that Grant took of me. He did use flash, but it is quite dark. So what I really, really like about Facetune 2 is that you can edit the photo, as in make it brighter, darker. You can add contrast. You can sharpen the photo. You can add grain. You can add saturation and stuff like that, which the Facetune 1 didn't have. Have. So all the time before I had to wait until I go to Instagram to do all my highlight and contrast and stuff like that Whereas here you can just do it all basically in one app. This is the app that I use the most We're gonna do a bit of brightness Gonna lighten it up a bit and you can also press this button here so you can go back and forth and see if you liked it We're gonna do a little bit of contrast as well. I find the contrast in this one not as good It makes you look a bit orangey contrast and highlights and stuff like that Even though a lot of apps do it they do it in different ways guys So find your favorite app and find what highlight and contrast you like the most i also normally do a bit of sharpen as well like a tiny tiny little bit i don't do it too much because sometimes it looks really really like cartoony if i do it too much okay i'm also gonna do a little bit of shadows which basically takes away all of the darkness like if i turned it all up you guys can see like literally i turned bright orange but all the shadows is gone now maybe i'll do like 19 make sure you always clip back and forth so you can see what the photo looked like before versus now so you can see it literally goes a little bit lighter and then highlight I'll go up a little bit. So if I go up a lot, it will just pick up the white bits in there, which is actually quite nice actually. Just gives it a lot more brightness. It just saves you having to use a whitening tool all over, you know? Okay, perfect. I like that. Also, something that I really like that they just updated is that you can arrange wherever you want the buttons to be. Like before, it used to be so annoying when I had to go all the way to the right to use the patch tool, but now I can, you know, move the patch tool closer to the front depending on what I use the most. So then I'll do a bit of retouch. So you have smooth and smoother. So I normally do a bit of smooth, like on my legs. Guys, I didn't even shave my legs this night. How bad is that? But I'm using the Fenty Body Lava, and that just looks amazing in front. Photos. I got a bit of saggy saggy stay light back here so I'm gonna smooth that shit out on my face you guys see I'm gonna smooth out my highlight a little bit and the main thing that I love about Facetune 2 is that you can do the opacity so what I like to do is I like to go ham on everything I kind of like smooth a lot of things out and then afterwards I'll use this little slider bar here and you can adjust how much smoothness you want which Facetune 1 didn't have and you guys see here like I'm a bit more smoother and then I normally bring it to about halfway and then it kind of keeps your skin looking a little bit more realistic something else that i really really love is the reshape so if you guys haven't watched my original video you guys know i love making my hair look bigger i'm gonna do it a bit more exaggerated so you guys can really see but just say if i want my hair bigger i'll pull this all the way out here like a fucking alien head but you guys can see this pandora sign is all like wonky now and it's so obvious that you face tune so what i love that you can do is you can press this restore button and you can literally just wipe over and it'll bring just that area back to how it originally was oh my god guys look at my head i literally look like an alien right now but i can restore my actual head and i can keep my hair looking like marge simpson so you guys can see that the pandora sign and my actual 
forehead and everything is not bigger. Only like this sign is a bit crazy. So I can put the cosmopolitan sign back. I just say that it doesn't work all the time. If you're really close to something, it kind of like doesn't work all the time, but it's an amazing tool to have that restore button. It's revolutionary. It's a little bit by the crowd to give you a bit more volume. I also love the detail tool, especially with makeup photos. It just kind of like make everything pop. Oh my God, I also love vibrance. This is not a good picture to show you guys, but whenever I'm taking like holiday photos and I want the sea to be really, really blue, I go on vibrance. Um, I can use it for my eyeshadow maybe to show you. So you press on vibrant and then I literally just like tap around. Like, let me do it full on so you guys can see. Okay, so you guys can see the difference before and after. It just picks up whatever colour there is and just saturates that area which is amazing. So if you do a lot of holiday photos and you want your sky to pop, you want the sea to pop, you just go over a bit of vibrant. And of course you don't have to do it full whack. You can even take down the bar and just do it like a little bit as well to make it a bit more natural. You guys see like before and after. It just gives you a little bit more something, something you know. Also guys, a big tip that I can give you because recently I've been finding a lot of my photos have been down resing on Instagram and I'm like why is that? And I found out it's because the settings on each app that you edit on is different. So you always need to make sure you go on the settings of every single app. So on Facetune 2, you press this little guy up here and then you go on settings and then you should always try to look for export settings. So here I change it to normal JPEG. When I was first using Facetune 2, it used to save it as compact, which is like 75%, which I'm like, what the hell? So I want a normal JPEG. So now it saves as normal JPEG. So yeah, make sure that your settings is always on high res. 100% okay so we saved that photo and we're gonna go into the next app now which is called retouch okay so now retouch I think you do have to pay for it but it was only like £1.99 or something it was super super cheap I used to be one of those people that never wanted to pay for any apps I was so against it I was like this is the principle you shouldn't have to pay for apps but all the best apps you have to pay for unfortunately this app here is for a very specific thing Thing. So just say you are on holiday, you want to take a nice photo by the sea and then there's that like, annoying people in the background. No bitch, you want to remove them and this is the best app to do that with. I know Facetune has patch and heal tool and stuff like that but honestly it's not as good as this app guys. This app is just magical. So there's something called quick repair which is what I normally do or you can also press object removal and it's a bit more precise. I love quick repair because it's literally just like swipe and it's gone. So you guys can see at the bottom here there's all these confetti bits which I'm like, it makes the photo look more distracting. So I just press quick brush and then I just do like a little swipe and it gets rid of the tinsel. And it works magic, guys. Like it just literally just copies around the frame and just like blurs it all together. It is so good. Like just say if I wanted to get rid of this Cosmopolitan Influencer Awards, I literally just swipe on top of it. And then look at that guys, it's just freaking all disappeared, it's amazing. So I could legit even take out all of this and just have a white board if I wanted to. You guys can see here as well, it has like a little black stripe on the side. It will even try to match that. So it all blends into each other. Look at that. Like, that's just freaking amazing. This also works really, really well when I have creases on my clothes because your girl can never be bothered to iron or steam anything. So what I'll do is I'll use a quick brush and I'll literally go on top and it'll remove all the creases. You have to kind of be careful with this because sometimes it can go a bit wrong. But most of the time, it just like saves your ass. Like, I love this app so much. It's like my internet ironing board. <laughs> okay, so... That's that for that app. I'm not gonna save this photo like this because the wall looks a bit crazy. I just wanna show you guys what this app does. Okay, so next up we're gonna go into Snapseed. Okay guys, so I love Snapseed so much. I used to use this for my highlight and contrast and stuff like that, but I find it on Facetune 2, it's just a bit quicker. So on Snapseed, I only use it for this specific reason. This photo here, you guys can see I'm holding my award. I'm like living my best life, so, so happy. The only thing about this is that when I put onto Instagram, even when I make it longer portrait wise, my top of my hand will still be cut off and that literally drives me nuts. So I'm gonna open up Snapseed, you go into tools and you go into expand and then what I did is I dragged the bottom and it literally extends the photo for you. Like how amazing is that? So obviously I have a black carpet at the bottom so it's just literally perfect. It works really well for anything printed or if you have like grass or anything like that it kind of duplicates it really really easily. The only time that it's really hard to duplicate is when there's like really obvious things in the background you know. But most of the time you can kind of get away with it. So I literally just pull the top part here and as you guys can see that it doesn't duplicate it properly. It kind of like has a black smudge at the top and stuff like that but honestly it doesn't matter because all that bit will be cropped out on Instagram anyways. You also want to drag the sides as well so I'm just dragging this out a bit further so you guys can see that there's a bit of my finger there and it looks a bit crazy now so what we do now is we go on to healing 
and then you literally just like swipe over and then it takes away my finger i'm gonna swipe this away as well i just want it to be like a white wall like all of this bit at the top don't worry about it. it's literally gonna be cut off anyways so i'm gonna save this I'm gonna export it save as a copy and then now when i go on to instagram you guys can see now it fits my full finger in there so this is the before and then this is the after you see that it fits a bit of my toe in there i have more at the top obviously you can keep expanding if you want to keep expanding the sides but normally i just want a little bit more hair in there or a bit more toe in there sometimes the person that's taking it is taking it too close and now the whole frame doesn't fit on instagram no more so that's when i'll use snapseed if you guys are not into photo editing you must think that i'm a crazy bitch right now the next app i'm going to show you guys is called beauty plus and i think it's like a korean japanese app and honestly i don't do much on this app but it is amazing for getting a tan okay guys let me just show you what i mean so tone is this button here there's options here you can basically change your skin color and it does it so nicely like if i press the darkest one obviously this is crazy i would never do this but you can make yourself look really really tanned this is really good because sometimes when i take photos and i'm on holiday sometimes my legs look quite light and then my chest is darker and my shoulders have caught more of a tan so when i do this button here it evens the color all over and you can turn up the intensity as well i normally just leave it at 50 percent but it just kind of like evens out your skin tone a bit more gives you a bit more warmth it's amazing okay and then also something that i really love okay this is very cheeky guys but i literally only found this out the other day and i was like oh, what so there's this button here called height so you can literally control how tall you want to be so all the time i always complain how short my torso is which is so so annoying so you can literally extend and it will only do it to a certain limit but look it's just like a little mm, extra extra you can even make your legs longer as well look guys it just has a little something something you know but it does it in a way that it doesn't distort all the background it kind of like takes the whole background and just like you know brings it along so yeah if you are short or your torso is really short you can use that and extend the torso so tweeze tips here for you guys okay i hope i don't get no hate on this video guys because i'm trying to spill the truth out here okay don't be hating don't hate that player hate the game honey also make sure that you go onto this app and change the settings as well because that is one of those apps that will literally make you look cartoony and like pixelated if you don't change the settings Okay, and then my last favourite app that I literally just found out about a few months ago is called QuickShot. It's a really, really cool app, guys. So this is a really good app if you are living in London and you want, like, a blue sky. Doesn't it happen all the times when you're away and you're taking photos and the sky just looks so gloomy? This app is just perfecto so this guy is actually blue this is taken in can but if i wanted to change the backdrop i can just press sky and i have the free version of this i don't want to pay unfortunately but you can pay and get like better skies okay so you can press this one which is a bit fake i love this one this one's my favorite i know it looks a bit fake now but i'll show you how to make it look a little bit less intense you know so they have loads of different skies and look at the way that it cuts out around your head it makes it look really really natural they also have other ones like these ones which looks really really natural but you have to pay for these ones but they have really really cool ones like sunsets here like this just looks a bit crazy but you can imagine with the right photo and the right settings it makes it look okay so i'm going to show you guys the cheap way of doing it so i do sn05 and then you click on it and then you could do random so if you press this random button here it changes the sky around and then it flips it around you can get different parts of the sky so i normally do one with as least clouds as possible and then what i really like about it is that you can press shift and you can move the sky along and then i also love horizon which basically kind of fades the sky so it's not blue from the ground you know and you can also do a bit of feather as well which i really really like it just kind of like feathers around your head you know sometimes if it doesn't like cut it properly but this app does such a good job cutting around your head i don't know why it just knows where you are i don't know how it does it it is so handy when you are away and you're in a hot country but the clouds look crazy and it just doesn't make the photo look vibrant you know so this app is just a little secret here guys it's so good i love it this is before and then this just makes it a little bit more like ah, you know okay and then just another app which is called visco cam okay so i know a lot of people love visco cam i like it but it's not like my favorite app i find when i use it it doesn't make that much difference if i'm honest but i love this tool right here hsl and you can only get this if you pay for visco cam i know you can use some of the tools on here and not pay for it but to use this button here which is the only button that i actually use 
you have to pay for it. What I love about this is that you can change each color specifically. So for example, you guys see there's a lot of blue in this image. So I just press the blue button and I can change the hue of it. Uh, here I can make it really turquoise or really blue. You can change the saturation of just the blue color as well, which I find is just so amazing. It's very similar to that Lightroom. You can change the lightness of the blue as well, which is really, really cool. And if I want to change my skin tone, I press on the orange one and I can make it look more tanned. And that's the main button that I love to use. I also love grain as well. Just a little bit of grain. Sometimes when you smooth too much, much, your skin looks a bit too polished so grain just like gives it a bit more like grittiness but I normally do 0.1 maximum I also love the adjust button on this because you can make it four by five which is the exact dimension of the portrait on Instagram so here sometimes I can frame exactly what I want so I'll know like okay Instagram's gonna cut off that much like you know I can kind of like frame it out and then apart from that that's all I use okay guys so that's it for all of my favorite apps I hope you guys enjoyed this video I I love apps so much I do love photo editing as well I know some people could be like why do you need to edit your photos and stuff like that but I do find that this is also another extension of how to be creative how to bring a photo to life sometimes you are just not in the right place at the right time sometimes it could be so bright outside sometimes it could be really really cloudy and you just want to make your photo as best as it could be so by doing these little things I don't see any harm in it whatsoever of course just because I do this doesn't mean you have to edit your photos at all but I'm just showing you guys the secrets behind all of this Instagram facade guys you guys might think that oh my god you guys go to the most perfect places at the perfect time how do you get your photos looking like that one most of the times it's not like that or two it was a struggle to get a photo like that or three we had to edit it like that keeping it real on this channel guys you guys know i'm always so open about stuff like this i never hide anything i'm so open about just me in general so if you guys have any questions about any of the apps that i use if there's any apps that you love and you guys think that i would love comment it down below because i love finding new apps especially if they're free okay if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I know some of you guys like to watch my videos and you don't like to subscribe. What's up with that? So that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Can't bug a dog. Oh, hello. We got some food. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, my God. It's not f***ing recording. Oh, my f***ing God. Oh, my God. I'm going to have a bitch fit. I am so pissed off, guys, because my screen didn't record, bitch! Did that record at all? Why is this not recording? Oh! It wasn't even recording again! You don't need no editing, guys. You're perfect the way you are. I'm joking, guys. You need Lightroom. What we've learned is try to take photos and make the background look really nice and blue. Even if you're a dark shadow, it doesn't matter. Go onto Lightroom and you can fix the shadows and everything is just... Perfect door. The reason is, if you overexpose the background, you can't bring it back. Grass chips. Oh my god, get my microphone. <laughs> Beauty influencer of the year. Oh yeah, oh yeah, even when my armpits are not shaved. Oh yeah. And the winner is. Grand Fam! Give it to me then. <laughs> I would like to thank everyone that's following me on Instagram. I would like to accept this award on their behalf. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the bloopers. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. Bye.